In exercise 8, the idea is that three types of offspring should occur in, in the ratio 9 to 3 to 4. 9 out of 16 should be type A, 3 out of 16 type B, and 4 out of 16 or a quarter type C. Our observed data are 100A, 50B, and 90C. So we need to test the hypothesis that the observed match the expected. So I've written out the results here. In total, we have 240 individuals, and we're expecting 9 sixteenths to be A, 3 sixteenths to be B, and 4 sixteenths to be C. So a quarter should be type C, a quarter of 240 is 60. 3 sixteenths should be type B, and that's 45. And lastly, 9 sixteenths. Or 135 should be type C, type A. As always, we can compare observed and expected using the chi-squared test, which is the sum of observed minus expected squared divided by expected. For the first cell, that is 100 minus 35 squared divided by 135. So that's 35 squared divided by 135, or 9.07. For the next cell, we get a chi-squared value of 0 0.56. And then we've got 90 take away 60, or 30 squared, divided by 60, which is 15. Altogether, these values add up to 24.63. So our calculated chi-squared is 24.63. Our table chi-squared has degrees of freedom equal to k, or 3, take away 0, take away 1, which is equal to 2. And from the chi-squared values tables, we'll get that value to be 5.99. Our observed value, uh, or calculated value of chi-squared, is greater than the value from the table. So we will reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the observed, rate, observed values do not match the expected values.